mini fans. Welcome to Macau. Good morning guys, it's another day here in Hong Kong and today's itinerary Watu Miog Macau We will be riding a 9.15 ferry ride It's currently quarter to 8 So we're now heading to the station Guys, update lang. We're finally here on board sa Turbo Jet. It's so funny kay we were rushing so much. Kaya na mo taas ang pila sa immigration. But basically, it was just really quick. You just scan your passport, your fingerprint, then that's it. And yeah, that's it. So ataranta pa kasi we thought nga dapat we have to be here an hour early. Uh, travel is yeah. Immigration is long, and then they're going to check the fatong travel pass or arrival pass. Yeah. I think that depends yeah, put sa pair or what ferry mo sa or maybe that depends sa time so the gap punta kumpiansa so it's still best na you have to be early but good thing na sa mga nga, it's not the case it was so quick and we just brought food from 7-Eleven which is also really good in fact napako here one and then some coffee because we only had like 6 hours sleep so may nga ni, this is so easy to eat and also so that's an advice. It's also cheaper sa 7-Eleven compared to other stores. We're now waiting until we arrive sa Macau. They said nga, this is just a 10 minute ride. I'm not so sure. Yeah, we'll update you once we're there. Also, thank you so much sa Facebook group nga among you join in, which is the Hong Kong and Macau Travel Guide. Hey, they've advised us specific to using our SIM, Hong Kong SIM card in Macau so you just need to turn on the, the roaming and then we can use the existing data without any additional fees so we'll see later once we get there and here's our seat we booked this from Klook Diai and if you again wanna book through Klook um, you can use my discount code which is MJ Salaga. So guys, we're now in Macau. After an hour, ding a biahi, did it ten minutes? It's about ten minutes, again, but after an hour biahi, we're in Macau. Medyo baud gayo, in fact. Oh, okay, admit pero gaso kako, which is weird. Kay, see, ba yung sakay barko, si boto bohol. I'm not, I'm just not feeling well, you can see, guru. Right now, can I drink mo kung coffee? I don't drink coffee, pero nag drink kung coffee. So, I'm going to palpitate na daan, which is bad. But nakalingkaw is good after an hour. So, let's explore Macau. Guys, update guys. Na, oh, on na mga mong roaming sa phone. But we realized, didi magamit ang data just for texting, call. I don't know why na ba may na miss out. But good thing I Wi Fi there's a station. Also, we're going na sa Venetian. Can add it to mga little um, cities like Paris, um, London, Venice. Na ako ingon pero nakalimot na ako eh. Saan to? Magbas lang may. Ay, by the way, yeah. Nagpa change the currency to Macau dollars, just worth 1,000 pesos. So the reason why is just, I know nga gaksap sa Hong Kong dollars here. But it's better safe, for example, mag taxi may just in case they accept. So at least na ay extra nga Macau dollars. And we will prioritize that in spending here while in Macau. So there are two ferry terminals here in Macau, guys, coming from Hong Kong. So that's the Taipa Terminal and the Outer Harbor. So we chose Taipa because this is the one nearest to Venetian and Parisian. 
and later pa uli, we will be departing from Macau Outer Harbor since at that time, later this day, dito na salmi sa Pika side exploring the uh, ruins of St. Paul. Update guys, amazing kaya all buses are actually for free going sa Venetian, Parisian, so it's just for free. We actually confirmed if free baguette or they need card, but the bus is for free. Venetian guys. Yay and we're finally here at Venetian Macau guys and just a fun fact this is actually Asia's biggest casino guys and upon arriving here in Derecho na sa Grand Canal shops it's an experience of Little Venice good guys it's an imitation of their Grand Canal it's just that here it's surrounded with different shops different boutiques with different brands and luxury goods and as you can see, this is indoors guys. This is just an artificial canal inside the Venetian Macau and that's also an artificial sky sailing ceiling. So after taking some photos, the direction of me for our lunch because this was about lunch time. And there's a lot of restaurants here but we prefer to eat sa Venetian food court. And as I mentioned earlier guys, here they accept your Hong Kong dollar. So dili na mo magwori if wala mo kayo Macau dollars because they definitely accept Hong Kong dollars with the same value as Macau dollars. And guys, daghan gid kayong options here ng food from noodles, etc. But we're getting noodles for lunch right now. And what we also considered eating here is the price. So we made sure nga dili kayo expensive. So guys, we're done na sa mga lunch. Nag-lunch kami sa Venetian area ng food court. Although it's food court, mahal ya pa ng food. But I guess when you're here in Hong Kong and Macau, I know nga, you have to be cautious as well with the price. Pero you don't need to convert yud, your money every time kay ma-frustrate lang yung gas ng kamahal. But if you have enough money and want convenience, it's an experience. It's really best nga that ako dako ang pocket money here para dili kay ka frustrate ang mga pinakabarato. But if you want to go cheap or on a budget, there are options nga makita ni mo. You really have to look. So we are now heading to the Team Lab Super Nature. We also booked this through Cloak. In fact, karun lang. And because we're booking through Cloak every time, taka kuha ko credit. And if you wanna use my promo code, that's MJ Salaga. Karon lang namon ni book, and we heard a lot of good feedback and reviews about this activity or this show. It's not really a show, more sure ka ng museum of or art exhibit or anything. Let's see and check that out. So, awa guys, entrance palang interesting na kayo siya. We're here, guys! And by the way, guys, the reason that I'm going book me through Cloak, although not me, because it's definitely cheaper than Cloak. You get a discount by booking through Cloak. So if you want to add this to your trip, book through Cloak. Now after the fun at Team Lab Super Nature, we went ahead to see the Eiffel Tower here in Macau. So we were following these instructions or directions rather, but this was actually leading us to a shop. Eiffel Tower is a salute, man. Eiffel Tower. Yung mga nisa structures sa gawas. 
So guys, we're here outside na to um, pa picture sa ilahang Big Ben and Eiffel Tower right here. Welcome to France, <laughs> mini France. So, pahuay lang may kay init kay ang panahon, then later balik mi sulod balik ba back sa Venetian. So, dool na din siya. I mean, mura siya usa ka mall na i3 ka hotels. It connects, I think, Parisian, Londoner, and the Venetian. Nice king weather right now. Look at the skies. Guys, we made it to France and London. Guys, the book nasa made it is a Londoner. We're done taking photos of uh, Parisian. <laughs> So guys, manami sa mga picture picture sa gawas. Although init siya hangin hangin man, pero paningtun yab mo kasi kay init. But we're back sa sulod. Kani siyang area na sa Londoner. Now at this point, guys, we're done strolling around Parisian, Venetian, and Londoner. So we're now heading towards the ruins of St. Paul. So that's just a bus ride from here. And from there, we will take the ferry going back to Hong Kong. I also enjoy this bus ride, although it's a little But I get to enjoy the famous or popular buildings here, such as the Grand Lisboa, which is one of Asia's finest casino hotel. It actually looks like a pineapple, but no, it's actually inspired by the shape of a lotus flower. And that itself symbolizes a lot of good fortune. So truly, this is an iconic building, and I'm just so happy to see this in person. Hello guys, right now, na sa outer Macau. Also, a quick history about Macau, guys. You notice that the building here is inspired like Portuguese or Spanish or even European design. That is because they've been colonized for 400 years under Portuguese rule and then was transferred back to China just in 1999. So you will really see a big influence of Portuguese not only through language or the architectural designs of the building but also with the food. And that is why you will see a blend of Portuguese and Asian elements here in Macau and that makes it interesting. So guys, atong itinerary here, we're going to the ruins of Sao Paulo. So diri di agyon ang the ruins, guys. So ama in Lakwon, actually the street is beautiful. Marag siya og ganang masya og Latin, Mexican design.
Jangan free taste ya guys, semua busuk mau free taste. Palit misalnya lang, jerky, dan tart. How much? 20? 20 tuna. Hmm. Another free taste guys. Mm. It's made of what? Hmm? What is it made of? It's the strawberry yogurt. Ah, strawberry yogurt. How much is that? It's the 78 for half kilo. Very good. So guys, I can't get free taste. I can't get free taste. Mabusog mo ano yung free taste ba? So palit siya po mo gamay no? Kaya may ikong po dag yung palit. Ay, thank you so much. Uh, one quarter kilo. Dutch one quart? Yeah, one quarter kilo. Okay, and then extra free? You add free? <laughs> Ay, oh God. Malingaw ka dali guys. So after buying some goods, guys, and trying a lot of jerky, both beef and pork, sa several stores, because they usually let people taste like a free taste, and that's uh, pretty normal. But we definitely bought um, pork jerky, kay mo yung mas barato barato, and we're here sa the ruins. Welcome to the ruins of St. Paul guys or in Portuguese Ruenas de Sao Paulo. These are the ruins of 17th century Catholic religious complex and it was said to be destroyed by a fire during a typhoon in the 1800s. There's a lot of people here guys. Then after a long day of walking guys, this is the perfect spot to rest. We took a break here, take some snacks and this one is the very popular Portuguese tart. We're just taking a break guys from the long walk and we're here naman so we're trying this egg, egg tart which is um, 30 Hong Kong or Macau for two so that's 15 for 15 each. It's good. Macau tart guys is a must. This one's really good. It has a very flaky crust and not too sweet custard so I highly recommend this one. We're also eating this pork jerky that we got. In fact, the beef one is really good but medyo mahal lang. So we got the pork but it's still not bad. That's it for our Macau trip guys. Ato na sa pier right now para mabalik sa Hong Kong. This Macau trip was short but it was fun. But ego na kayo ang Macau trip for one day. But if you wanna immerse more there is a Macau then you can stay. Get an accommodation and stay here sa Macau. And that ends our day here in Macau guys. I know that there are lots of places that we have not visited but that's something we look forward for our next visit. But we are now on our way back to Hong Kong. It's really late. I think this was about, I mean this was a 10 p.m. ride. And at this point we just slept throughout the journey. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a thing or two from me from this trip. And please do subscribe if you want to know or learn more about Hong Kong because we still have another day to spend in Hong Kong. I'll see you next time and remember that life is good. Bye! Thank you.